We're on to the next recipe from Princess Pinky Girl. This one is called Sloppy Joe Casserole. Our Sloppy Joe Casserole's ground beef and noodles are smothered in mayonnaise sauce and topped with melted cheese for a twist on a classic dinner recipe. <sighs> now it's dinner. Of course, this one is 10 minutes to repair, 40 minutes for cooking, 50 minutes altogether. Serve six. In this one, you need one pound of lean ground beef, so you're probably going in the neighborhood of 85, 90, 93 percent, whatever you'd like. A cup of diced yellow onion, 24 ounce can of original manwich sauce, 15 ounce can of original manwich sauce, 12 ounce package of farfalle, of course they're called bow tie noodles, cooked al dente, an ounce package of shred Velveeta, an ounce package of shred Colby Jack cheese. That's pretty much all there is for ingredients. Now, for this one, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Lightly spray a 9x13 baking dish and set it aside. Using a 4 to 5 quart heavy bottom stock pot, brown the ground beef and diced onion on medium heat. Drain any excess grease that has been left over and return the brown ground beef and onions to the stock pot. Of course, Drain off the grease. My mom does it in the soup cans. That's how she always does it. Or if you don't have a soup can, you can do it in the sink. You know, it won't matter. It'll be all right. Add the two cans of sandwich sauce, the cooked bow tie noodles, and the shredded Velveeta. Stir in the ingredients until well combined. Pour the sandwich casserole in a prepared 9x13 baking dish. Every sp evenly sprinkle the 8-ounce package of Colby, shred Colby Jack cheese right on top of that casserole and bake for 25 minutes. To store it, store any leftovers into your airtight container in the fridge for up to about three or four days. Sloppy Joe casserole makes for a great freezer meal and can be stored for up to three months. Yeah, three months, that's a very long time. If reheating from the freezer, it's best to let the pasta thaw a bit before placing it in the microwave. But if you reheat it right from the fridge, you pop the casserole in the microwave until it's all heated through. This recipe has 42 grams of protein, and it's so delicious that everybody is going to love this one. Who needs a bun? Well, you won't be one to try Sloppy Joe Casserole. Log on to princesspinkygirl.com. You'll look for this recipe, and you'll tr and try it out. Your whole family will love it, and so will you. It's all the deliciousness of a classic sandwich in a casserole. Nothing better than that. So that's it. I got one more recipe coming up, so stay tuned and you're going to find out what that one's going to be.